All right, so Steph Rifai, product manager at Docker, will be giving us a quick update on Compose V2. Take it away, Steph. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, yeah, just a, a little update on my end. I'm going to quickly uh, try to share my screen. Hey there. Can you all hear me? Okay, great. Okay. Um, I'm Steph. Uh, I'm product manager here. We're going to, I'm quickly going to just share my screen with you all, uh, give you a little bit of an update about Compose. Uh, oh no, my permission was denied. Uh, let's try that again. Uh, there we go. So um, as many of you know, um, Compose V2 became available in June, um, so it's very exciting. Um, it relies on the Compose Go bindings, and we've been able to do quite a bit of stuff um, with this transition, um, like deliver features faster, um, enable a lot of enhancements around being able to compose up into some cloud platforms on Apple Silicon, and we've added some new features. Um, so we've seen really good adoption so far. We've gotten so much good feedback that has helped us identify bugs and really make it better. Um, so uh, we wanted to talk a little bit about what's happening next. So um, right now it is available on Linux, but uh, we're actually working towards providing it uh, in a more standard way to install on, on Linux. So uh, once this is kind of complete, then we're going to uh, mark B2S GA. Um, our current target for this is the end of October, but um, it's really subject to, to how this goes um, on Linux. But we really want to provide a seamless experience for, for all users on all platforms. Um, and so just quickly, um, we want to talk about what does GA mean to us. So you know, new features and bugs at that time will only be considered in V2. Um, users on Mac and Windows will be defaulted into using Compose V2, but it doesn't mean that Docker-Compose is going away. You will just be alias into Docker Space Compose, um, but you can still opt out of this at that time and in the same ways you can now, so through the UI and CLI. Um, and currently our goal is around um, delivering it um, in the CLI for Linux, but we have some technical uh, discussion <laughs> around that still to work out. Um, and we have available the Compose switch, which enables the translating of Docker-Compose to Docker Space Compose on Linux, but it, it does require an active install there, but it, it should still make it pretty easy um, for, for that to work for you. Um, and then V1 will continue to be maintained regarding security issues and V2 branch will become the default one. Um, so what we're really looking for at this time is a bunch of your feedback. So we want, we're really excited about GA. We're really excited about the, the positive feedback that we've gotten. Um, little people are kind of switching back, which is a good sign. Um, and we want to kind of hear, you know, what do you, how much time do you need? What do you think um, is good for you to transition onto um, V2? Um, and we can start thinking about um, in the future what, what that might look like in terms of us ending support maintenance on V1. Um, again, we have, we have no definite timeline on that right now. We're really looking for your feedback. Um, and, and I really do want to emphasize that we at this time have no plans of breaking you um, by removing the aliasing of Docker-Compose to Docker Space Compose. We want to make it really easy to switch. Um, we know that there's a lot out there that relies on the dash and um, yeah, so that that's that. Hopefully I did it within enough time um, and thank you. <laughs> that was great, right on time. That was <laughs> perfect clockwork. Um, thank you, Steph. Thanks everyone. And as always, if you have questions for Steph, please ask them in the chat.